So a while back I built this constant current load, but it's not as accurate as it should be, and I think these resistors are the problem. But the problem seems to appear only at higher currents, and when working at lower currents, accuracy is fine. So I think it has something to do with the temperature of the resistors. So these are 10 quarter watt resistors. And when this is operating at its full current, it will dissipate 2.5 watts of these. They should handle that, but the temperature is rising quite significantly. You can of course find a figure in the data sheet telling how much these will change over temperature, but I don't have the exact data sheet for these resistors and it's typically in the order of 25 to 100 parts per million. I thought we'd do a little test to, to check how much these actually vary over temperature. We'll use a 1% one, one, percent, one watt resistor instead of these because I'm planning to use that in my next project. So let's start by measuring the resistance at room temperature. We do this by pulling 100 milliamps through the resistor and measuring the voltage drop across it. So let's turn on the output of the power supply. And we get 0 0.0993. Let's call it that. So let's change the current to 1 amp, which will dissipate 1 watt in the resistor, which is the maximum it's rated for. the voltage is climbing reasonably fast. So, yeah, so let's let this settle for a while and come back and see what the final result is. So it's been about five minutes and it seems like it has settled around 75, 76 so let's write that down, shall we? And if we feel this, you can see that the voltage is going down because I'm lowering the temperature with my fingers. And it is warm. It's not burning hot, but it's warm. So calculating our values are pretty easy. The first one measures directly in ohms because we used 1 amp. This one up here you have to move the decimal point one place because we used 100 milliamps. And to find the difference between the two, we take 100 divided by the first number, multiplied by the second number, subtract the 100 and we get a difference of 1.46%. If you add the spec of 1% of the resistor you could get as worse as 2.46% and uh, that's what fooled me in the first place. So. so while we're at it let's let's try to crank this up a little and give them let's say 25% more than what they are actually designed for. So we're now pulling 1.25 amps through it and uh, it should dissipate 1.25 watts or thereabout because the resistance will change quite a lot doing this. so we will let this settle and come back in about 10 minutes time so it seems to have settled around here and I've, no I've noted that at uh, 1.2677 is jumping around a little and then uh, the calculation is very easy again we just take our volts divided by amps equals ohms it's just ohms law do the same calculation again we get 2.11 percent and if we add the one percent tolerance of the resistor again we get 3.11 percent but of course you should not 
dissipate 1.25 watts in these one watt resistors. But still, if you dissipate one watt in them, it will still be 1.46% over the temperature range. And now this is. I don't want to touch that. <coughs> I can, you, can, <coughs> you can see the you can see the temperatures dropping, but it, that's hot. Don't want to touch that. So if you are trying to measure precise voltage across one of these resistors, it could be a problem. You might want to take that into account that it will actually change quite a lot over the temperature range. So I hope you learned something from this and thanks for watching.